Hi Taurus, this is a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to be for everyone, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. And keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so Taurus, what is going on for you mid-May? Overall energies. All right, so normally I only take two, but we did get three this time. We have numbing, barrier, and fresh start. So it could be that you are trying to ignore a certain. Um, issue, maybe you, maybe your person, all right, in a particular situation, which might be serving as a barrier when it comes to starting fresh, all right? So it feels like somebody here is numbing and that could involve just, you know, blocking certain thoughts out. It could involve um, drinking, um, working too much, um, I don't know, playing video games, watching TV, whatever, all right? Any means that keeps us from being able to really process a certain situation, all right? Trying to block out emotions or anything like that. So this seems to be the issue um, in this particular case. So let's get into the tarot and see, because I do feel like there is this potential for a new start um, in this connection with somebody, but this numbing is really um, blocking that potential. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-May 2021. Okay, so for you, we have the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. All right, so... I'm not sure if this is your person actually showing up in your energy. I feel like it's actually that there is somebody here um, that you feel a very, um, very emotional towards them. There's a lot of emotions, there's a lot of love, but you also can see the potential for stability in this, in this relationship. But there's something about all of this that makes you feel like, like it could happen, maybe it couldn't happen. It's like you see the potential, but you're not really sure exactly what it is that either you need to do or what it is that needs to happen in order for that to actually manifest. Let's see for them, and we're gonna clarify and get more details here. We have for them the Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So we have both the King and the Queen of Cups out. So I love how um, they have the queen, you have the king here. So there's that love is definitely mutual, all right? So this person, so this person definitely also feels those emotions for you. So I can see why you would see that there is a potential here, all right, for a fresh new start um, with this person. And I do get that it's this person, not you, who is. <clears throat> Who is the one doing the numbing? Who is the one trying to escape certain issues, possibly overthinking things? This could possibly be related to some kind of a fear, but it feels like they're stalling. It feels like they're um, just kind of waiting for something to just kind of either, um, what's the word? To just kind of go away, <laughs> whatever the problem is. It feels like that. Let's see what's coming up. We have the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So just realized you cannot see those cards. Give me one sec. All right. And an extra message for you here is the Seven of Swords. All right, so. It feels like there's still a little bit of 
of resistance coming up in the near future, but I do also see a little bit of, okay, being being a little bit more open to communication because I feel like that for a lot of you, this may be actually a miscommunication, a misunderstanding, something along those lines. Um, somebody avoiding something where they've been resistant to it and I do feel like there is this resistance still here, but being a little bit more open to what it is that you have to say or to seeing the other person's perspective. All right, and because we do have the Seven of Swords as the message here, again, this is talking about um, avoiding, kind of just sneaking away from a situation. So let's clarify and see what this is about because, yeah, it got me a little confused there. All right, so for your energy, let me clarify the King's King of Pentacles. All right, we have the Ten of Wands. Let me clarify the King of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. All right, so it's like you feel like, yeah, there's that potential there, as I said, but you see it as something very, very difficult to happen when it comes to somebody being stable, when it comes to this person being um maybe even trustworthy or somebody that you can depend on and rely on. I feel like that is something that is um, kind of bothering you. Whether or not you can actually depend on this person, whether this person can be consistent and, and stable. At, but again, at the same time, it's like these emotions are just so strong here. I feel like you have um, a bond with this person. You, For some of you, I feel like you may have been with this person for a long time. And you might be thinking back to the past and back to when things seem to be going along just as you would have wanted them to. And I feel like that could be a reason why you're holding on to this or why you really you want to work this out. Because I do get that that sense for the most part. But let me see the Seven of Cups. Because I feel like you are you are feeling a little bit confused. You're, it's like you're torn between these two energies. Because you feel the connection. You feel the potential. You feel the love. But you're worried about the, about the stability and the reliability of this person or of the connection. So clarifying the Seven of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Six of Wands. Okay, yeah, so you're... I feel like you're confused or you're worried about um, whether or not this person will be able to compromise or collaborate with you in this effort to actually um, to actually make it work. Okay. Now again, don't forget that the roles can be reversed. All right. Um, regardless of whether you are cross watching or not. So I feel like you really want there to be like a win win. I feel like you are actually. Um, willing to compromise to even you know give a little bit more i would even say um than this person in order to have that success in this connection but you're you're not so sure that the other person can um, meet you halfway so let's see what's going on with them let's see the three of wands the seven of pentacles and the chariot Okay, so this person, for the most part, seems to be kind of just hanging around, seeming like they're not really doing much, and and maybe they're not, maybe they're not, but what I do see them doing is possibly like moving, going back and forth from actually taking certain steps, trying to correct things, trying to bring about um, a resolution or trying to bring about a result, but and then at the same time, they can also get really impulsive and just change directions and just really not be focused. And so that is what keeps them back from reaching that, that result or from reaching that resolution. All right, because it's like they do certain things and then they do something else. So then it's like, okay, now having to start that again, all over from the beginning. Um, and so it does kind of keep them a little bit in the same in the same place. 
Let me see the Eight of Swords. Alright, the Queen of Wands and the Three of Swords. All right, so it feels like this person has been hurt in the past, um, either by you or it could even be somebody else. I, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, but there's somebody here that has hurt them. In the past, they have felt a lot of pain. For a lot of you, it is going to be um, possibly you in this connection. And because of that, they're, it's like they're... they're they're staying in this like fear type of a mentality where this also contributes to them um, not really, you know, moving forward in the way that, you know, you feel like, like they could. And I feel like whatever that is, this could be what they are numbing out. Um, almost as if because they're trying to avoid that pain, it also, it also keeps them from being able to resolve whatever the issue is. Let me see the Queen of Cups. The Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups for them as well. Yeah, so it's like, you know, they're a little bit confused as well. I feel like they distract themselves. They try to distract themselves from the fact that there's so much strong emotion here, they feel this emotion. With the Ace of Wands, they do want to reconnect with you in some way or to have this new beginning, a new start, a new way of, of functioning within the relationship if you, if you already are together. But they numb that out. They numb that out and a big part of it is, is this pain that they have felt at some point. And for a lot of them, I mean, they're feeling this now with something that is going on between the two of you. So let's see what's coming up because I do see a little bit of, of hope here with, with this Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords. So let me clarify the Ace of Swords because I see some, <clears throat> some truth coming out here. So, um, you know, being very authentic. Possibly even some action after that stagnating. Ooh, the tower, the wheel of fortune, and the two of swords. Okay, so yeah, when it comes to you know having having this energy of not really agreeing, you know, not knowing if you can make it work, not knowing if both parties will um, meet each other halfway at least. That's about to change. That's about to change here because some major truth is coming here. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to be for each of you. It's going to be something different, but having the wheel of fortune and the tower together, that is really, really powerful. That is a huge change, but it's not going to be an easy one, um, for at least one of you initially. All right. Because something big is going to happen that is going to really turn things in a, in a new direction, but the tower has to fall first before it can be rebuilt. And that is the new direction here, moving away from that Two of Swords. Moving away from that, not being able to actually um, see things in a, um, in a similar way or agreeing. So I do feel like that compromise is actually going to be up in the air here. For it to actually play out. Let me see the Seven of Wands. The Four of Swords and the Page of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely a conversation that is coming up here. Um, and I do feel like this conversation is going to be um, based off of emotions. It's going to be truthful, but and it is also going to come in a, with a sense of peace, with a sense of healing. However, there is going to be some resistance. All right, somebody's going to be holding back a little bit. I do feel like you are going to talk about emotions that will be brought to the table. I feel like that's mostly going to be from your person here because they're the ones that are numbing. 
um, unless the roles are reversed. And so I do feel like it's that person that is going to be a little bit reserved, a little bit still protecting themselves because of that pain that is not healed yet. But this conversation is going to help them to heal that, that wound, whatever that is. All right, and that wound might not even be related to you, or it might be related to you now, but it may actually have its roots from something else from their past. So let's see the Page of Swords. The Two of Cups. So yeah, this is just confirming what I said, that there will be this conversation which is really going to help to move things along. It's going to help to heal this other person, whatever it is that they're going through. Um, mostly it could even be healing for you as well. And there's going to be some honesty um, showing through, all right, through this conversation, which is leading you closer to being able to have that new start in love all right just be a little bit careful with the seven of swords being here that yes this person will be holding certain things back um it's based out of fear and there is some some type of numbing that is happening here all right so do keep that in mind all right so taurus if this resonated please give me a thumbs up and let's get your final oracle message All right, and we have prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. All right, so yeah, this is definitely um, a more financial type of a message rather than love. However, I do see that in relation to that King of Pentacles as well. So this, it, to me, it's also representative of that stability. All right, just like finances can give you stability. This is that stability that you are worried about. All right, I do see that that is something that can be healed here, all right, through this conversation. So, Taurus, those were your messages, and thank you so much for watching. Much love.